Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beauty. So today we're watching Snowfall. So today we're jumping back into Snowfall Season 1, Episode 9, The Story of a Scar. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Honestly, Leon was going to get himself into that trouble. Yeah. It's exactly. a matter of what medium he used. Bravo. A nice bitch. Boots. I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Done his period. Fuck mm. this shit. Can't do it alone. I'm not alone. Does Club Glitter mean anything? Well, she met some guys and left with them. What guys? I mean, kind of looked like like a Latino Freddie Mercury. What you boys <laughs> We just cruising. We sell it right here in the hood. Same as we. A hundred thousand off a single key. Yeah, let everybody know the numbers. Oh, right. They're giving more footage this time. Yeah, we didn't see that. I'm coming, man! You don't know who's talking to your dad. Franklin, just yeah. walking aimlessly. What's going on? <clears throat> you brought that shit in your neighborhood. Now you got trouble in your backyard, boy. What are you going to do? Oh, Melody in trouble. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. Um, have you seen Franklin? Mm -hmm. Can you just... Just send him home, you know? I just, I just need to see him. Back when there was no cell phones, eh? Oh my god. You don't have an excuse for this, bro. Where have you been? What's Leon doing? You went to the hospital? Mm -hmm. How's Leon? He caught two bullets, Franklin. He gonna be good, though. Looks that way. Yeah. Wow. She's upset. Thank God. You gonna make me ask? It's Leon. You know, always starting some shit. That's a great description of Leon. So you had nothing to do with it, right? No. You scared me, Frank. You got your best friend's blood on your clothes, and you don't miss a goddamn beat. Mm -hmm. He's a boss. It's fucked up. Jerome was here. Guilt was all over his face. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Someone in this family still got a fucking conscience. What'd he say? I want to hear it from you. What you want to hear? Start with how long you've been slinging the weed for him. Oh, fuck. Wow. Jerome. Oh, to be honest, Jerome. at least it ain't the coke. Six months you've been lying in my face. Oh, fuck, Playing bro. Playing for a goddamn fool. No, it was never easy lying to you. And I didn't <laughs> it was know. never easy. But I had to step up. Ain't like you don't know about smoking no weed. Huh? Whoa. What'd you say? The it's fuck you think you're talking to? It's the it's fuck you think you're talking to? Uh, invite yourself in. Right? Well, all right. Man enough to speak for himself. Hey, Frank. Hey, relax, relax. I was hoping you and me, we could have a different conversation. I saw two boys parked down the street watching your house. Got a good look at their faces. All I need you to do is help me fill in some blanks. You're gonna ha have Andre take care of them for you. Fred, I can't help you. Excuse me. Mama just like, man, he really is a good liar, right? Eh? He did it even in the face of the police. Oof, I love the logo change. That is hard. That's hard. Keep it plain and simple. Fish tank. Oh, he's still doing this. Fish tank. Oh, right. She's in bed, That's focused on just idea. him. He's at work, focused on everything but her voice. Floating bacteria in our living room. Oh, sh uh, Jules, sorry. Look, I gotta run. Um, you know, why don't you just get rid of the, uh, the fish tank if you want, all right? Yeah, sure, fine. I love you. Your hiding skills are terrible, bro. That's all they were able to salvage. I was like, that looks like a light load. What about your wife? Wait, what about Elena? Oh, she has God. some burns, but nothing too bad. Flew her to Sotokano for treatment. <clears throat> 
Yeah, and it's all destroyed. <sighs> yeah. I have other supplies we can use for now. Escobar's people? Escobar's too powerful. Could run us over and not even feel the bum. Oh, okay. wow. The Medellin cartel controls like 90% of the Colombian coke trade. And we'll be dealing with the other 10%. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm more concerned with whether or not we can trust them. You wanna vet them guys too? Colombians don't take too well to that. You want another meet and greet? <laughs> it didn't go so well the okay. last time. <laughs> um, I'm doing you a favor. Believe me, you do not come off as not a cop very well. Exactly. Pinche Pedro. He's letting it continue. Con unas condiciones. Sure. Peor que Ben Ramiro's slave. Hmm? He also doesn't want to do business with Stomper anymore. Oh, the guy's like. father's gone, we could use our own distribution network. What do I Hernan. tell the Stomper? Yeah. El Hernan. Hmm? You're out of here. You aren't to do anything. Should be enough for you to start over. No chance. Ramiro te quiere muerto. You killed two of his men. He's not gonna let that go. Under you. Oh my god. Con mi familia. So what? Look at me. Look at me, carajo. Ya te dije que yo no me rajo. And maybe we don't have to run. He said he's down for you, girl. More than you are for him. That's you just a fucking... gotta step up. Gustavo wasn't running from nothing. I know him, but I don't care who, how powerful he doesn't seem. He wasn't running from shit. No way. Who's he looking at, Melody? You gotta get that back from her room. Been trying to get a minute with your, with your pops, you know? Yep. Yeah. Huh? Uh -uh. Whoa. Okay. She she really happy you okay. Mm. Thanks for walking me home. Mm. My daddy brought the hammer to come home with none of y'all, so we don't have to roll a different way. It's all good. Mm. Why don't you just start explaining instead of making her have to ask? Right. Cops. So it was okay for me. You gonna risk my ass by bringing that shit into my crib? I thought you was down with me. What the fuck? I thought you actually Bro. cared about me. Wow, <laughs> that's a reply. You're using me, Bruh, She was happy to see you, Bruh. Thinking you were happy to see her. Nah, but you just, just wanted a means the bag, to an end. Bruh. That's foul. What you did, Franklin. That's foul, bruh. Make her feel special and shit. And then to find out that she was just like, yeah, hurry up, hurry up, I gotta get the bag. Hi. Victoria, uh, come in. Oh, oh I thought it was... Oh, gosh. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to get you something. It's from Harvey. <laughs> you know, that one with that giant invisible rabbit that only Jimmy Stewart can see. So. I can't accept this. I mean, you've been the one bright spot in all of this. Yeah. Dangerous territory. I should probably go. Bye. I think that's a ruse. Uh oh. Hey. Uh oh. Sister, sister. I was looking for Franklin. How much are you involved in all of this? Woo! Here we go. We go. You no, know, you and Jerome are always lock, step, and barrel and everything. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's coming for you too. You. Don't tell her more Things than she sideways. knows. Shit brought into your home. Franklin Baum is a really great actress. Say more than you need to, girl. Okay, let me get you some coffee. It's all falling apart. No, it ain't. Next season one. Never let him quit it's worse. college. My brother was happy to have him slinging. Franklin is the one that's been pushing ahead. Ooh. Don't, Ooh. don't. In our home, so don't be blaming Jerome. Ooh. So I should be blaming you. Ooh. You 
Oh, I love the way it. she talks, man. You did man. start it, bro. I love the way she talks. You can blame me, but I don't see you blaming the one person who should be thinking real hard about her own choices. What? Excuse me? Kissing up to some cracker ass slum lord. You better stop, Louie. Every cent like that, I have earned. Wait. I have earned standing on my own two feet. Watch her stressed out, stressed out. Oh! oh definitely not laying on my goddamn back. Oh! Shit! I will not stand by and watch you try to drag my son into that gutter your stank ass come from. You ain't oh, making Wow! Oh, fuck. Yeah, get the fuck up out of my house, you step and fetch it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you Matt Franklin lying, but you the one lying to your damn self. Oof. Truth hurts. Moms, the mom's got a legal job, y'all don't. That's the big difference. Auntie thinks she's an entrepreneur. Bruh, about laying on your goddamn back, like Miss Claudia said. He said he was going alone, why are you here? Alejandro's gonna pop up on him. Shouter by. Oh, it's a camera. You uh, he doesn't even have it in a bag, bro. You're a nature photographer, bro. What's going on here? This is why you don't get invited to the cookout. Better order something. Oh, that man looks snuff looks evil. About leather jacket and cow. And them glasses? Bruh. That was a signal. Signal. <laughs> oh, That's police how academy. Y'all wanna go get some candy? Yeah, I do. I could probably get like a lollipop, get a lollipop, get a whatever. Hey, bring me back some lemon head. As a pay. Wow. What about my shirt. I'm just fucking with you. How you feel? I mean, not for nothing. I could step to a motherfucker right now. <laughs> Nigga, you can't even step. Real, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like those two always together. Not when they rolled up on me. Just Lenny. Nah, I mean, it can't be right. Nigga, don't tell me I was there. You sure you gonna be able to do this shit without? It was a, It was another time. It wasn't the same time. Exactly. Got shot. Exactly. You've been, been watching. We've been right, sticking man. your shit. Having you on the bench ain't ideal. You gotta let niggas know right here, right now that we official. Because if you don't, motherfuckers always gonna be coming at us. All right. Not bothering you? What? He's the only one hearing that. Oh shit. Bro, you can't flinch. Oh shit. Interesting. Punch and then. Stress, bro. The stress, like your girl said, it's gonna kill you. Where you been? Stop. Your sister came here looking for you. How'd it go? How'd it go? Huh? How'd it go? <laughs> All of this in one day? I upped the money to dimes. They still came back for more. They kept coming back. <laughs> what? It's fantastic. You don't sound like it's fantastic because you know that. You know you don't want to. Look at her stepping back. Of course, because she's still thinking about the truth that her his uh his sister told her. Hey, what's happening, Candy Man? Your timing couldn't be better. This here's Shayla. She's one of my newest prospects. This is the VIP list for tonight. AC Green's coming. Keep them. Oh. oh. Get this sad brother some heavy. God damn. Man, she Man. is a walking pimping. them girls. Well, I'm glad to see you in one piece. <laughs> of course. Just rumors. One of them had you taking a bullet to the face 
Which I am delighted to see ain't true. Leon caught the bullet. I need you to get word of Ray Ray. Ranger, sit down. I'm pretty sure if a nigga wanted you dead, the quickest way to expedite that shit is to sit down in front of him. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. And you want to use my valuable time and resources, is that it? You must so be the United Fucking Nations. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying, I need something a little more personal. She already said if you want to practice run. Personal, man. Jesus Christ. That's, that's a key I, word. That's, that's very key. This guy. He's a nervous wreck, bro. Prices are much better if we pick it up in Mexico flight in ourselves. That's cool. Uh, so long as it's not the middle of the desert, I can live with that. That's it? You're not going to pull some shit? Demand to know everything? Ask me he a million there. questions? I talked to the doctors at Sotocano, and they said that they don't have the facilities to treat some of Elena's injuries. So I had her flown to the Dallas Burn Clinic. So. The fuck is that? You don't come pounding on that door if you're not packing. His heart looks like it's pumping out of his chest all the time. That one. Yeah. Oh, right. Ramiro. Hey, look, cabron. My father's running things now. Wanted to meet our suppliers. We're going to increase our buy soon if that uh, helps to ease your mind. From this point forward, my son handles all the transactions, so please continue to treat him with the proper respect. We just want to do good business. Perfect. You're in good hands. I'll get you the product. Oh. They said it all. Said it all. Soft, sorry, Nod. El Stomper. Oh, you gotta tell Stomper and our nun. Te dije que no confiáramos en estos hijos de la chingada. I don't think it's going to go down like that. It's not my choice, Vato. So your girl fucks us? And then sends you to deliver the noose? No, por ahí, Vato. I've been cut out too. <laughs> Tell me, why did she change her mind so fast? She was on her own. But now, toda su pinche familia is involved. You know everything about that bitch and her family? Oh. Where they live, the kind of people they got. Oh, oh fuck, shit. bro. Nah. They're gonna bring some. Oh, no. Bruh, he's dropped you at the drop of a dime. Mm. They were only hiring you because you, they thought you were some bitch wrestler they could control. So, you just came here to ask me to fuck that crazy bitch? Nah, of course not. I, I, I just wish couldn't see any other way. Relax. Oh. That's <laughs> what she wants? If I could just get right right in my room. <laughs> well, honey, that is not what I meant. My question is, when it do work out, what's in it for me? How much you want? It's about Claudia. About that club. You gonna get it for me. Ooh. Wow! She sees the money rolling she's Exactly, in. exactly. Like, you I, can't even say no. I want to invest in something bigger that's already profitable, that's already running. She knows you got the money. And if they're running it out of the club, then it's even safer. Oh, wow. Those numbers look good. I'm bringing someone to look at the books. I don't need any help with the books. I know. You get into cocaine, could get violent. I can't have you be the only one that knows about our finances. God forbid if something happens to you. Oh, bro, like... If that you, ain't a fucking warning. <laughs> bro. What? So we knew who we could really count on. Who's that? It's your father's house number. I, I think I found something that might possibly help us. So if you could just call me... Oh, me man. Here number. we go, bro. You've been so helpful with everything. You know, yeah. And, uh, yeah, what'd you find? So I was packing...
packing up Kristen's stuff to take back home, including her pictures. And that's when <gasps> I started thinking about photos. And so I went Bam, back to her and they put me in contact with Rinaldi, who was there the night that Kristen went missing. Oh, I should have seen all these photos. So, show and them Logan. Oh! <laughs> and then, you know, go. Latin Freddie Mercury. Wait, zoom in. Yeah. Oh. He's the one. Oh! Oh my god, you gotta take her out now. Oh my god, bruh. Box on my feet. You want some food? You hungry? Milkshake's good. Yeah, I'm good. What the hell you thought was gonna happen? Beat down my homie? Fuck up his house? I got beat down first. And I wasn't the one who did it to him. Yeah, but we took care of them HTB arcade niggas. What about the cops? Matter of fact, my next door neighbor's a cop. Said he saw two guys scoping out my place. If you're looking for some type of truth, you're in the wrong place. No, 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 no. No truth. Yep. I'm gonna run my shit now. We gonna talk business. Because that's what it's about, right? Money. And they're all crying from the ocean bus are free. Hold your head up high for what you accomplish. Oh, he has to kill a girl. Yeah, bus are free. Yeah, you're the only one that can see the rabbit, Mr. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, man. How do you go through with this shit? Oh. I mean, maybe they may still, they used to be in a relationship. Yo, what's Gustavo up to, bro? And he's already killed somebody, so you get like, bro, let a bear loose, and then, bro. I wonder if she has any more ties to that family other than her pops. What wow. a song. None of us. None of us are free. Nope. One of us is chained. That's even that's even a crazier that's even a crazier way to say it. Is that not only is none of us are free, but one of us is actually chained. Oh man. Because the thing is in every situ in all of the scenarios, none of them are free. Um, Franklin got people watching his house. He has to avoid the cross contamination of his mom knowing about the coke. She knows about the weed, and and look at look at the gasket she blew when it was the weed. Imagine if she knew what he was actually doing. You know what I'm saying? Then you have then you have um, uh, Jerome Jerome and them, and like obviously the coke is going very well now, but obviously with that. With more money comes more demands now. Right. Like before, like Jerome was just telling her, "Aren't we happy in the hood?" And an episode later, she's asking Franklin to to buy a, a, a club, club for a few hundred grand. Exactly. Yeah, you know, like you know what I'm saying. So shit changes so quickly, and just like just like when that you know what I'm saying when you see these people on cocaine, just the way they change from their normal selves is how quickly the circumstances change in this show. Gustavo went from being your muscle to being your enemy. Nah, bro. Not after. Not after you sanctioned him killing two people, right. ratted on him for killing those two people right. to get him kicked out of the group that he was killing for. Sure. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You're and gonna you know feel his temperament. His wrath of course. No. Of course. Of course. And the thing is, what's crazy about it is he may spare Lucia whatever wrath he he incurs on their family, right. but at the same time, like. He has, like, I could see a situation where, like, like Gustavo, let's say, I mean, I don't think he's a reckless guy, but I, let's say he guns down two, three guys. I could see Lucia coming out and him holding the gun at her for, like, 30 seconds and then just walking away just to let her know that you are now on the other side of the fence. Exactly. And it's only, be, it's not because, it's not because, it's not because you relocated, you choose to kick me out of your backyard. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. She kept saying, it's my familia, my familia, but, like, your only family just died. So, like, 
Where do you stand now? Everyone. I mean, there are his. Co- I mean, the, like the guy all... is his cousin, and so on and so right. forth. So it is her. It is her family. But, but the thing they... is that the thing is the, the your family is not the best people to do business with. Exactly, and you're further and further away from the family business. You know, like they're. they're... And because they're family, they can just like exactly they can just demote you like that, but without any explanation because. Your fa- your uh, your uncle gets a fucking whim, you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. that's that's some absolute bullshit. But the thing is, the thing is, and the thing is, what's fucked up about that is the whole time that you were running it. Okay, so, so the father's aware of how Pedro is because right. that's why when he was talking to him drunk at the bar, talking about Gustavo and so on and so forth, and Lucia and how we can trust him, he's like, I clearly know you're drunk. So the father knew that you who you are. He knows that you're more of a pretty boy than a than an enforcer. You know what I'm saying? Like. You enjoy the spoils that the Coke brings. You don't you don't move the Coke. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. You like the fancy cars, the jewelry, blah, blah, blah. Pretty here. But the thing is, now you have a guy like Gustavo who's actually a cog in the machine who makes the thing work. And now you remove him and put him into another one, bro. There's bound to be consequences. And especially in the fashion that you went out about it. You literally were down and out. And then he, after taking away those two lives for you, he then supplied a lifeline to revive you. And then you cut him out like that, bro. What is he going to do? And he, let you deal with the consequences of his lifeline. His, and, then he, and, then he, and then he had to go back to the fucking cartel and be like, yo, the deal that I set forth was correct. I was cut out of it too. I just want to let y'all know. And because of Gustavo, because he's a stand-up guy, because he's honest, you knew they weren't going to touch him. You knew that they were going to go after the same people they went after because they all vouched for him. And the reason that they vouched for him is because he's a stand-up guy who, after getting the deal fucked, would come right back into the belly of the beast and tell them, yo, you're not getting your money, and this is why. So, like, crazy. Yeah, that whole Claudia knows. auntie thing is crazy too, but bruh, yeah. So like, she knows uh, if they have a history together, she knows the ins and outs of that business. So she could glad she didn't well, like she used to work there. That's it. She didn't like when things mom came and said, "All you do is lie on your back." You know, she's like, "You know what? That is exact. Oh, but that's crazy. She, with all this money coming in, I could do more. I, you know what? She wants me. I want her club. That's <laughs> Fuck that's that shit. Well, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I mean, man. that's crazy. Because that, that's crazy. Because the thing is, that could be, a, like, just because of the way that Miss Claudia was describing it, that could be a central distribution point. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, I mean, you could get off God knows how much in the middle of a party as opposed to standing on the corner, going to the park, public places, because at least it's secluded to those places. Like, anytime somebody sees Franklin, Leon, or his homeboy on the street, they can just run up and, huh, you got that stuff, you got exactly. that stuff. The, like same way to, <laughs> the same way that you have those uh, people running up on Jerome's porch right. because they know where his house is, you know? But, yo, they, they ramped it. They ramped everything up. And, and the, the white guy is panicking. And Auntie has a new product. Claudio don't even know about the rocks yet. What do you mean? Franklin didn't tell her about the new product that he has. To Claudia. Oh, okay, well, I mean, it's cocaine regardless, but I mean, obviously, it's it's produced in a different way. But it sells for more. The um, the uh, what was I saying? Oh, the white guy. Like you can see, like I felt like the hammering, like the ha- the metaphorical hammering, was really in his heart, like his heart. Because the thing is, the first thing she said was one of the things that his girlfriend i assume right. said was what is it what is it going to do to you he's like no I'll, I'll be straight and and she's she's like no no she's like what is it gonna do what is it gonna do you're like oh i can handle this she's like no not not just you getting killed what is it gonna do to you you know what i'm saying and then after she even jumped further than that and said what is it going to do to us because obviously the cartel when they come for people they come and wipe out the whole no family, family you know what i'm saying exactly. no chance of retaliation so when he was on the phone with her and they they literally showed you the scene. She's on the she's in she's in bed on the phone, lights low, just talking, focusing on him and his thing. He's got fucking files out, and they're they're not sharing. It's not a like the relationship is not of equivocal interest right, at this point. Right. He's just he's flipping through. Oh yeah, what? Uh, da, 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 da. And even the way he ended the call, like he's like, oh oh, oh yeah shit, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. go. I love you. It's like. Was that a, I love you or did you just say that generically because that's what you're supposed that's in the script of relationships for you to say. 
And and him sitting, them him panicking, babe. Him sitting there, you're hearing the hammer thud, and I'm like, that sounds like his heart beating more than you know what I'm saying, a hammer thudding. And then the fact that he asked the woman, he's like, that's not bothering you. It's like, yeah, because it's really inside, inside of, you. of you. And then we saw his fucking almost panic attack when he saw the man with the leather coat go pull out a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? So we see he's even without the drugs, he's already on the edge. You know what I'm saying? And then he got new buyers after he vetted the guys, he vetted the customs, he grind off the serial numbers he went to the camp he comes back camp's gone and there's new buyers and now there's victoria who has pictures and there's of latino freddie mercury oh my god jesus christ this guy's gonna kill himself with a heart attack no, no man that's it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god another great episode of snowfall and we can't wait for the next forecast so Thank y'all for joining us for this latest episode of Snowfall. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about this episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full-length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. For Beauty and the Beard, we're signing off until the next one. Peace. Peace.